to me, it was a kind of a different day. It's something that you waited for so long, and you just can't wait till it gets here. And, and I think that's the way it kind of was for our fans. And I think it's a way for our players. It definitely was a lot of emotion in the locker room before we headed out there, not only because it was the first game, but because of the added pressure and emotion from what happened from the tragedy. There was so much build up to this game, so much riding on it. I mean, it was nice to be a part of that game, but it's kind of nice to also have it out of the way because, you know, there was a lot of distractions off the football field, and now hopefully we can just concentrate on football. It definitely was a great relief to go ahead and go out there and get a win for the fans. First home game, first mass gathering in Blacksburg since the tragedy. And uh, it definitely does feel good to go out there and do something positive for the community. If this first game proved anything, is that you know we're playing for more than just an ACC championship. You know, we're playing for an entire community. And they haven't had much to look forward to around here lately. So, you know, we know that there's a little more riding on our shoulders this year than just the game of football. It's definitely going to be something we're never going to forget, but we're just going to have to keep playing through it all season and um, just go out there and represent everybody that's a Hokie fan. I never thought I'd be in a position to do this by just playing a sport. It makes you feel privileged and honored that people would refer to myself and, and my teammates in a position to help people heal from a tragedy. It's going to be a continuous process. As long as you're Virginia Tech, you're probably going to remember April 16th for, you know, every day. And uh, I think that's just part of it, and let's continue to move on and uh, never forget those people that uh, died that day.